What the governor offered us a while ago was to, to cut off uh, all four limbs. And now he's saying, well, maybe I'll just cut off three. A quick look around the office tells you what San Francisco's teachers union thinks of the governor. And they're not especially impressed with his revised state budget, which they say does restore the voter mandated minimum funding for schools, but doesn't do much else. These young teachers were devastated. And even though they may not lose their jobs, they are re-examining their decision to become teachers. State Senate leader Don Parada also voiced his disappointment after weeks of leading rallies for education funding. Now local union leaders are echoing his call for more money instead of more cuts. May I say that three letter word that ends in X, you need a tax, you need money. That's how a civilization runs. But the governor went easy on education if you compare it to the cuts in health care. Because health and human services is the second largest part of the budget, this is where a lot of the cuts had to come from. But a local foundation that doles out health care grants says those cuts will hit hard. We're going to see mental health and substance abuse services cut. We're going to see more people on the streets. Denise Martin of the San Francisco Foundation says she's most concerned about Medi-Cal cuts, both a reduction in payouts to doctors and more restrictions on who's eligible. When people can't in to get, get in to see their primary care doctor, where do you think they're going to go? They're going to go to the emergency room. That's going to impact all of us, not just poor people. And these cuts, too, will impact schools who rely on the state health budget for nurses and wellness programs. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.